Hello, my name is Val and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will show you the first part of my new PPT lesson, Natural Disasters. This lesson is designed for grade five to six learners, but if you have strong students, it can also work in grade four. In this lesson, students learn about four natural disasters thunderstorms, hurricanes, tornadoes, and volcanoes. See short videos that illustrate what real-life disasters look like. Understand the difference between hurricanes and tornadoes. Learn a few interesting facts about each disaster and play a few fun games to reinforce what they have learned. This PPT lesson is available for sale in my store on Teachers Pay Teachers. To download it, please follow the link above or click on the link in the description below the video. Natural Disasters, lesson number one. Are you ready to take a look? I have skipped the class rules. They're the same in all my lessons. So here's where we start. I decided to um, uh, make this lesson in the form of a book because students can also learn the structure of the book or a story. So um, here's what I usually say to my students. We are going to read this book. And in this part of the lesson, I try to elicit as much information as I can from my students. It's a pre-reading part of the class. And then I ask them these questions. What is the title of this book? And they usually say the title of the book is Natural Disasters. Who is the author? What can you see on the book cover? And what do you think this book is about? What do you think this book is about? What do you think it is about? Yes. It is about many different natural disasters. Yes, or it is about the weather. We are going to read and we are going to find out. So uh, this is the first slide of the lesson. So I usually tell my students that the earth changes every day. We change every day. You change every day. Our earth is uh, the same. Uh, it changes every day. And then we can discuss a little bit why it changes every day. And then you can tell them that natural disasters happen because our Earth changes every day. And also you can tell them that one of the big, probably biggest reasons why our Earth changes every day is people, us. We uh, affect our Earth in such a way that it changes every day and sometimes our actions cause natural disasters. Um, here again, you ask them, you ask your students if they can name these disasters in English. And uh, it's okay if they can, if they cannot. Here you just need to understand what they um, know. So for example, you can ask them, um, what do you call number two in English? And you can tell them that it's okay to say what it's called in uh, the first language. So, for example, they can uh, say number two is Ugnikalnis. Ugnikalnis is a volcano in Lithuanian language. It's just an example. So, this way you can see what they know, right? Next. Uh, this is the first word uh, from the lesson, thunderstorm. First of all, elicit, retrieve from the students if they can give you a definition of a thunderstorm. Ask them, what is a thunderstorm? 
and maybe some of them can do that if not just give them a definition a thunderstorm is a storm with lightning and thunder and then ask them do you want to see a thunderstorm do you want to see it i am going to show it to you and then uh the next uh slide uh is a video of a thunderstorm let's take a look Pop quiz! Here we go. In this part, you are going to invite uh, a student from each team and ask them a question. You know, uh, question number one is which comes first, lightning or thunder? In this part of the lesson, you are going to be asking, uh, well, you're going to be giving a few interesting facts about each natural disaster. And when it's done in a form of a quiz, it's easy to remember. And it's okay if they don't know the correct answer. That's totally fine. Um, they just learn this way. So the correct answer here would be lightning. And then you can ask them why. And hopefully someone will tell you uh, because light travels faster than sound. All right, here's the next question. What is the temperature of lightning? The correct answer here would be 25,000 degrees Celsius. Next one. What is the speed of a lightning bolt? And uh, please remember that in this case, you will be inviting, you know, a, a new pair of students. And... Um, the correct answer here would be 100,000 kilometers per second. You know, in one of my classes, one of the students uh, told me that I was wrong. Uh, the students told me that the lightning essentially is light, so it should be the speed of light. To which you can say that light and lightning are two different things, you know? Um, lightning is a form of electricity traveling in a wire, yeah? So, electricity in a wire is caused by uh, flowing, moving electrons. So, uh, you don't need to go deep into that. You can just tell them that light and lightning are different things and lightning is a form of electricity. That's why it does not travel at the speed of light. All right. Next natural disaster, hurricane. Again, ask your students if they know what it is. If they don't, give them the definition. A hurricane is a huge storm with strong winds and rain. Again, do you want to see the hurricane? Let's take a look. The next natural disaster in this lesson is a tornado. What is a tornado? A tornado is a strong wind that looks like an upside down spinning cone. If you click on this link, it's going to take you to the slide which explains two words, uh, cone and upside down. So this is a cone and this cone is upside down. Let's go back and would you like to see a tornado? I made this video because kids love videos. And also it's a great illustration of uh, what a natural disaster may look like. Let's take a look. Pop quiz. All right, which one is a tornado? Yeah, yeah, and the students hopefully are going to pick the correct one. 
Number two is a tornado, right? Um, in this part of the lesson, you teach the difference between a hurricane and a tornado, yeah? So we say that hurricanes are huge storms, tornadoes are strong winds. Hurricanes are formed in the ocean. Can you see the hurricanes forming? Tornadoes are formed on land. Uh, there are thousands of tornadoes every year, but only 10 to 15 hurricanes. Hurricanes can last a few days and tornadoes only last a few minutes. And now we play a tornado game. Here's how you play it. Uh, you invite a student from one team. Well, before they can play rock, paper, scissors to decide who goes first, right? Uh, and then you invite the student from the winning team. This student is blindfolded. He or she can't see. Then he or she starts spinning. He becomes a tornado. Then at some point, the blindfolded student should stop spinning and point at the wall. Each wall has points, yeah? So uh, it's essentially, it's like your classroom. So for example, if you are here, if the teacher desks is here, this is the wall behind you, this is the wall on the left, this is the wall on the right, these are your students, and this is the wall at the back of the class. So students picks the wall and gets points uh, for his answer, right? Here we go, pop quiz. Are you ready? ta -da! This is the center of a hurricane. What is it called? Now, I want to make a quick note. Uh, you can also invite two students, and the students who answers first can play the tornado game. It's up to you how you want to do it. So, um, the center of a hurricane is called the eye. The student who got it right can play the game, can become a tornado. And then he or she spins, 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 spins until he stops, and then he needs to pick the wall. So let's say he picks uh, the wall at the back of your class, this one, and let's see how many points he's got. He's got two points. Yay, good job. All right, next one, next question, tornado game. So uh, again, you can, in, you can play rock, paper, scissors to invite a student from one team, or you can actually pick a student from each team so they can compete and the winner gets to play. Up to you. Or you can come up with your own idea how you can pick students uh, to play this game. So here's the question. The question is, what is the weather like inside the eye of a hurricane? The correct answer is calm. And then uh, the student spins, picks the wall, gets points. I think you get the idea. All right. And the fourth and last natural disaster in this lesson is a volcano. You want to see it? But before we see it, of course, we need to read the definition. The definition is a volcano is a mountain that spits fire. And let's take a look at the volcano. All right, here uh, you can also explain that inside the volcano, the temperature is so hot that it melts rock. This molten rock is called magma. When magma gets outside, it is called lava. When it becomes cold, it forms rock. And uh, then you can tell the students that we're going to show them a video uh, where they can see what lava looks like. Now is a good time to tell the students that our Earth is alive, it's breathing, and lava is the Earth's blood, which hardens and heals our planet. Pop quiz. 
uh, one student from each team. And here's the question. How hot is fresh lava? The correct answer here is 1000 degrees Celsius. And uh, now you get to play some games or activities, whatever you call them. The first one is called definitions. So you invite a student from each team, you show them the slides and they need to match the word to its definition. Now let's practice together. Choose one, two, or three. What's a thunderstorm? One, two, or three. One, two, or three. Keep with you. Two. It's a storm with lightning and thunder. Then you invite the next pair of students, you show them the next definition, and again, they need to match it. And you play it until the end of this game. Uh, activity number two, uh, or game number two, which is called finish the sentences. In this activity, uh, you show them a th sentence, and there are a couple of words missing, so they need to read and finish it. Uh, you can choose how you want to do it. You can do it as a whole class activity, or you can do it in teams, or even in groups. It's really up to you. So a thunderstorm is a storm with lightning and thunder. A hurricane is a huge storm with strong winds and rain. A tornado is a strong wind that looks like an upside down cone. And a volcano is a mountain that spits fire. There we go. And you end this lesson with a simple assignment. Please ask your students to write these sentences in their notebooks. This is the language objectives of this lesson. Your students are supposed to say uh, or define for uh, natural disasters. And if they can remember a few interesting facts along this journey, along this trip, that is just a huge bonus. This is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to turn the notifications on. This way, you will never miss a single upload and help your fellow teacher grow his channel. A shout out to my patrons, Martina and Peter, for their love and support. Thank you, guys. Before you click stop, please listen to what Robert Heinlein once said. When one teaches, two learn. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.